Hello, my darling Cocoa Puffs. It's your girlfriend, Coco Peru. Um, coming to you again from my bathroom in Van Nuys, California. It is a glorious day, and I've decided to go for a walk in a little while. Of course, I will be social distancing, but really, there's not a lot of people walking out there, so it's pretty safe. But uh, the rest of the time, I'm just, you know, hanging out in my house, doing my... Uh, little videos for you where I enjoyed the little things. And today I wanted to show you this little tiny little photo of my parents. That's Helen and Clint when they were very, very young in this <laughs> very tiny, ridiculous frame. But my mother years ago, well, not too long ago, uh, at Christmas time, she... Um, gave each of us kids a little framed photograph of, uh, of, uh, of her and my dad. Of course, my dad passed away when I was in my 20s. He was 67. My mom is now 93. But um, actually, this, this frame is a really meant to be a Christmas ornament, but I took the little hook off of it because I didn't want to just have it out at Christmas. I, I love it so much, I keep it out all year. And um, the reason I love it is, well, I just, I know it was like a little project that my mom did going out shopping for the little frames, cutting up these old photos so they would fit in them. And I just love that she, she did that for us and made a little project for herself. But also, um, I just look at this picture and I think, God, they were so young. You know, my parents got married when they were 17. And... Um, you know, my they were they went to grammar school together, and my mother did not like my father, and he used to tease her because she had red hair. In fact, the first time my father and mother ever saw each other, my father I, I I've told this story, but my father was calling out to my mother, you know, hey red. Hey, Carrot Top, you know, just calling out these names to her. Because she was such a prim little girl, she ignored him and thought, who is this rude little boy? And he finally yelled out, well, whoever you are, someday I'm going to marry you. <laughs> and he did. They fell in love and they were married for many years. And I, God, I miss him so much. And I know my mom does. You know, that's the crazy thing about death. It always feels... It's so universal, right? But when it happens and you're grieving, you feel like no one can ever understand how you feel. Anyway, I also love this photo because it reminds me of a Mary Chapin Carpenter song. And I love Mary Chapin Carpenter. Um, if you don't know who she is, you should. She writes the most beautiful lyrics. And there's the song called Come On, Come On. And every time I listen to it, I, I think of this photo and my parents. And there's one verse. Let me let me see if I can remember it. It's, um, uh, hold on, it'll come to me. A photograph taken of your parents at the end of the honeymoon in 1948, late in the month of June. Your parents smile for the camera in Siena shades of light. You're older now than they were that summer night. God, it gets me. Anyway, that that's why I, I wanted to show you this photo because time passes so fast. My mother always told me that growing up, never really listened to it, but now that I'm getting up there in age, I realized how correct she was. And I want to encourage those of you that still have your parents or one parent or someone who you think of as a parent uh, to ask them lots of questions. That's the one thing I never did with my father. I never got to ask him questions. It just never even occurred to me to ask my dad questions. But with my mom, I do. And even to this day at 93, she will tell me stories that I had no idea about, things that just delight me, make me laugh, that really touched my heart. So I encourage you, if you have a relationship with your parents, to ask them questions. They've got so many great stories. Also, 
I just threw in this little ornament because my, my mother bought that for Raphael and I to hang on our Christmas tree. But we're never home for Christmas because we're always with her, but not her goddamn Christmas tree. So I leave this uh, little framed photograph out with this little ornament that she gave us side by side in our home. Anyway, um, that's my little uh, little thing today. That, um, well, of course, is a big thing. All right, sweeties. So remember, ask those people you love. Ask them questions. Get to know their story. All right, darlings. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.